Jersey Boys were on the minds of many today. Good evening, I'm Allison Brown. A search and rescue group traveled miles to Morency and used their annual training exercise to help search for the brothers. Fox Toledo's Ashley John Cola is live with how this all came about. Ashley? Actually, the group contacted Morency Police Chief Larry Weeks. He welcomed the group to Morency because it was not only a chance to learn the new search techniques, but also another opportunity to search for the skeleton boys. Well, there's definitely progress made. We got done sooner, much you know, much sooner than we expected. And at the same time, you know, I think a lot of people walked away learning something. Chief Weeks said 50 to 60 people, including both public safety personnel from the Morency area and civilian volunteers from Shiawassee County near Lansing, Michigan, came together today. They learned different search techniques and ways to be more proficient in executing searches. We found a number of number of items, as you can imagine, you know, uh, trash, debris. Uh, animal carcasses, things like that to get left around. Um, nothing is obvious to us to have been involved in the case. I feel good that I'm more knowledgeable in how to do this, but at the same time, um, you know, it's just disappointing that we didn't uh, you know, get the resolution that we wanted. The chief says the group searched several locations in and around Morency, some that had been searched before, with the hope that they would find something that could lead them to Alexander Tanner and Andrew Skelton. The boys were last seen on Thanksgiving with their father, John Skelton. He claims the boys are with an organization, and right now Skelton remains at the Lenaway County Jail. Everybody around here is always, always looking. You always keep your eyes open. Morency residents say, though it's been several months, the case is still very much alive in their minds. It's important to the people here, and I can see they have a lot of support, you know, looking for the boys, so it's good the community pulls together. I feel confident that we're doing all we know to do uh, from an investigative standpoint. Um, you know, all of the court proceedings being in place right now, I just have to wait and see how that gets resolved and how that progresses, and we'll go from there. At this point, Chief Weeks says they'll continue responding to tips and search areas on a smaller scale. He asks anyone who lives in the region to continually check your own properties and areas like abandoned structures to look for the boys. And of course, if you find anything, contact police. Reporting tonight, Ashley John Cola, Fox Toledo News.